crime ends in a trap that justice sets. Crime does not pay. Thank you for calling. How may I help? Yeah, I was talking to some other guy, and we uh -huh. got disconnected. Oh, no problem, sir. I was surely going to help you on that. Uh, I will just Okay, don't there. call me Shirley. So, okay. uh, tell me, how may I help you? Well, I told the other guy. I pay. I bought Norton Lifelock off the TV for okay. twelve ninety nine a month. Then today, I get an invoice for three ninety nine ninety nine. And then he wants to charge me $200 on top of all that to clean up, tune up, and optimization my computer. It's, it's too much money. What are we going to do here? I mean, Norton LifeLock, I don't know okay, how it basically, works. Basically, sir, we are an antivirus. We provide you services for your computers, but if there is any problem over in your network or something that's required other kind of tune-up so let me just suggest you your case and i will going to help you out in each and everything okay okay help yeah. me with your first and last name robin r-o-b-i-n bank okay. b-a-n-k-s so are you in front of your computer right now okay yeah so on your computer open any browser any browser chrome okay i open google chrome all right. Okay. It's open. Type in there support.me. Support. That, that's what the other guy had me do. Support connect, but there's no place to put a number. It says support uh -huh. connection. Do you see over there it is asking for a six-digit security key? Yeah, there's a place blinking on there. It's blinking, blinking, yes. blinking. Yeah. Okay. What's the code? Same as no, I had sir, before? I'm going to provide you, a retrieve you a new code for you. Just give me a moment. Oh, retrieve me a new one. Okay, good. Okay. So type good. there 4265. 4265. 63. Six uh, click on start download. Start download. Now yeah. look at the top right hand corner of your screen. You. I already got it okay. assured. It says... Uh, Connecting. Connected. A support representative will be with you. Oh, uh, now it says, yeah, Windows Defender. I already did. Went through all this with the I other guy. I understand that, sir. Now, uh, you are speaking with me, and your case is registered under my name. So, I will going to help okay. you. At, yes. Okay. Stella. Is that you, Stella? Stella? Yes, sir. Stella, Stella call Okay. Okay, Stella. Let's get yes, this over with, please. See, that's what the other guy charged me. He wanted two hundred dollars. And he's charging this for cleaning a computer. Okay. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I am glad that he, uh, the that call got disconnected, and you are contacting us. The reason right. being is, sir, you already have our services. And if you have our services, you do not need to pay anything to get your computers cleaned. This is, okay, okay. they buy Scott, they are a reseller. Yeah. They are a reseller of Norton. So oh. that is the reason maybe they are charging this amount from you. Oh. But now... Oh, boy, am I glad I called you, Stella. No, right, sir. So no problem. Let me just check. Well, okay, when uh, the reseller guy has the access of your computer, what he did on your computer? Nothing. He just... He, he he ran a couple scans and he said that there were hackers on my computer and the hacker was behind the tree. And I went outside and looked and there's no reason. <sighs> oh, no problem. Let me just check certain things over here. Yeah, Here's he said within the 900 yards the hacker was. He had it narrowed down to 900 yards. Yeah, that's that's how he mm -hmm. wrote the thing. Okay. Just a moment. Sir, how old this computer is? Couple, I don't it's know, a three new years. Computer. A uh, what? It is almost a new computer. Well, it's a couple of years old, uh -huh. I guess. That's I understand. Sir, uh, I'm receiving some kind of corruptions from your computer. And oh, I, what's that mean? I can check, uh, like, I am checking certain things over here, and I can check there is no virus in your computer. 
or there is no hacking attempt onto your computer but okay. over here what I can check that yes you are receiving corruption but you have been receiving corruption through your house network oh the guy behind the tree checking. again okay well uh, not the guy behind the tree if I tell okay. you uh, okay do you understand house network network yeah where I get my internet uh, No, no, no. I'm not no. talking about your... No. no. Let me tell you. So, okay, when no. I'm saying house network, I am not talking about your internet service provider or your Wi-Fi routers or any device or any browsers. Okay, okay. By saying... Yes, sir. So, yes, by okay. saying your house network, house I network. am... Oh, yes. Only I am... Going. Okay. Tell me. The what? Uh, yes, sir. So Hello. I was telling you. You telling me. Hello, ma'am? Stella? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I didn't know uh, where you no, went. I'm still here. Okay. Uh, sir, give me a moment. Uh, just give me a moment, sir. I'm just checking few things over here. Then I will let okay. you know about everything, okay? Okay, sir. So, so, so. Okay, sir. Thank you for holding the line. I really okay. appreciate your time and patience. All right. So, yes, I was telling you about your house network sir yeah so when I'm saying house network I'm talking about your residential IP address where all your devices gets connect and where all your information is gathered that right. is the place where someone is trying to break in to breach oh. in basically so tell right. me one thing sir yes. on this computer and on your other device what do you do over the internet on your devices what do you mean what I understand that, sir. The reason I am asking that question is because the corruption over the IP address you get from your devices itself. It could be your website links, pop-ups, email attachments and all these things. And that is the reason it is important for me to know. Like what kind of websites do you visit? Do you visit shopping websites like yep. a random shopping website? I am Amazon, Etsy. Mm -hmm. eBay. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Okay. For shopping. Have you ever shopped from Chinese websites? No, no, I don't like Chinese yeah. shit. Okay. So, and do you play games online, like yeah, through the I'm online? Seventy-four. Link? I don't play games online. I understand. Okay. So, if uh, there's okay, there's a possibility, sir. If you are not making any click, you are aware that. The people who live in your house, they also share a same residential IP address. If they are making inappropriate clicks on their devices, unknowingly or accidentally, that can also invite a corruption to your residential oh, IP address. Oh, I bet you it was my cousin Eddie. Uh, what, what he do on his devices? Well, who knows what he does. He lives with me, but he's not right. So... He, who knows what he does? I understand. Eddie, so just Eddie, give me a moment, Eddie, okay? What, where did you go on your computer? I want my TV! And I want it now! I want my fucking jam! Oh, jeez. I'm not getting it! I'm not getting it! I want it! Oh, boy. You see what I mean? He's not right. Yes, sir. He, he, well, he got hit in the head with a brick, and he lives with me. He's got a plate in his head. Okay, so do you know what is your residential IP address and how it works? No. No problem, sir. I will let you know about it. So first tell me, did you receive any notification from your bank regarding any a data breach or fraudulent activities or anything like that? No. Someone is trying to get into your information? No. I don't think so. You did not? Well, that's strange, but that's a leaf, sir. That's strange, right? The reason why? I'm telling you that is... I didn't hear you, sir. Let me tell you tell why me. it's strange. Okay. It is strange because, first of all, someone is trying to breach into your information through your house network, through your residential IP address. And that is, that is the reason it is strange, that... As of now, there is no information or no uh, notification it's from your bank. But clearly, okay. So how do we? What do we got to do? 
Yes, sir. So I am running a scan on my end right okay. now to check certain things accordingly. I will let you know. Okay. So first of all, sir, let me tell you about your residential IP address. Oh, yeah. I get that. Residential okay. IP address. Okay. Yes. Residential IP address is something. Uh, it is a unique identity of your house location where you live. Right. Where you receive all your uh, services and that residential IP address is given to your house. My house. By the government okay, through a government, satellite. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. As you have a physical address like a billing address of your mm -hmm. house. Similarly, you also have a virtual address that is known as your residential IP address. Okay. And all the devices that you got in your house, they have they have their own individual IP oh. addresses. And all of them are connected to same and a single IP address that is your residential oh, IP okay. address. I understand. So whatever you yes, sir. So whatever you do over your devices or all your devices, it gets stored at one particular place that is your residential IP addresses virtual storage. For example, your browsing history, when you surf online, when you pay bills online, when you do your online banking, uh, sharing files, documents, conversations, everything you have done and you have been doing over your devices, it is getting stored at one place. That is your virtual storage of your residential IP address and that is the place which is supposed to be confidential and hidden. Right. And in your scenario, someone is trying to breach in over there. Ah, oh, dumb bastards. How do we get rid of And that is the reason, sir. Well, I'm running a scan. I will let you know about how we can get rid of that. First of all, sir, I would like to let you know about one thing. What? Is that this is not a computer issue. Okay. And that is the reason why even your Norton is not working. Because... We are an antivirus. We can provide you protection for your computers, phones, tablets, Chromebooks, yeah. and devices. But this is something beyond computers. This is not in your devices. This is in your residential IP address. Though we, ha this is not an issue for residentials. This is common with banks, businesses, oh, banks. financial uh, institutions. I'm not a bank. Yes, these. Uh, well. Uh, these corruption attackers, you should attack banks and businesses oh. to steal their customer data to misuse that. But from past, you can say, 8 to 10 months or 1 year, they have started targeting residential oh. people, which are you guys. Okay. Yes, sir. And that what, is the reason your, it is happening How do we get rid of them? That's all so, I need to know. Okay. First of all, in order to provide you a resolution, I need to check what kind of corruption it is, how deep okay. it is into your network. Accordingly, I will let you know how we okay. can get rid of it. Secondly, sir, as I told you, we are computer technicians. Okay. There is a, still, we have been receiving such issues. Okay. So if the level of your corruption on your IP address will be below 40%, I will go ahead and fix that for you right away. We have those kinds of specific okay, tools. Cool. And okay. But by any chance, if it will be above 40% or anywhere near the critical level, at that time you would require an IP address technician, basically network technician. An IP address. Uh, do you know any IP address technicians? I don't even know what that is. I never heard of an IP technician. I don't know what it is. Do you? Okay. Yes, sir. We are very much okay, aware, aware about that. They are basically the last, last line, of, line support. of support. Okay. Okay. Now what, Stella? You there? Yes, sir. You uh, keep going this, yes, away. Sir. The scanning is uh, gonna be. No, no, no. I'm still here. No, I'm still here, sir. I'm just checking the reports on my end. So the scanning is still oh, going boy. on. It might gonna take a oh. minute or two to provide you the results. Okay. okay. So tell me one okay. thing. Oh, uh, lately, in past, uh, since past weeks. three weeks, do you remember making any click on any link, pop-up, email attachment, or advertisement that you thought no. it was suspicious, but you clicked on that accidentally or unknowingly? Why, why would I do that if I thought it was suspicious? No, I didn't click on it. Of course, who knows what Eddie clicked on? Eddie. It's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, there is a possibility. Oh boy. 
you know they gotta put up with. Okay. Eddie, so, Eddie, Eddie he looks at, he goes here. to like this place called Sexy Grannies and and looks at it. I bet you he clicked on something there. Meet a granny, probably. Is it still scanning, Stella? I'm when do we here. get to the part where you steal my okay, fucking sure. money? This is going way too long here. Huh, Stella? <laughs> I'll Stella, give me a tell moment. Tell me when you're going to steal my fucking money, will you? Come on. Just take No, I do not want any of your money. I have hey, plenty of you're mine. You're going to steal my money eventually. Let's get it over with. <laughs> you fuck. Thank you for calling support. This is Martin. How may I help you today? I was talking to Stella. I don't know where she went. Stella. Put Stella on the line. Sorry, you were talking Stella, with who? Stella. Stella. Stella? We got disconnected. Put Stella. Like, did you, did, have you call on the yes. same number? On the same number or you have call on a different no, number? this number. Stella. Hello? Stella. Hello? Yes, Where's hello, Stella? I'm here. Yes. Can you hear me? I was, I, I was asking you that, have you called on the same number or the, this on a number, different Stella. number? This number, Stella. Stella, she works where you are. And we what got happened? We disconnected what when I told her to hurry up her? and steal my money because she was a scam bastard like you. So I told her to hurry up and she got mad. Yeah, I ain't like got that. all day to fuck around here, dude. Steal my money and get it over with. Thank you, Are thank you, you steal it or not? <laughs> thank you for calling support. Look at Stella. Stella. Stella, I was talking to Stella. Stella. S-T-E-L-L-A. -L -L right. Stella. She was hooked up to my computer and we got disconnected. All right. She helped on the computer? She was, but then we got disconnected. All right. You tell me, sir. I'm the person. I'm the technician. You tell me. Okay. I can steal help you. Steal my money, please. Will you please steal my fucking money? 